Another interesting note this year, ransomware payments are falling because victims are choosing to pay less and less. And the tactics of ransomware operators are becoming arguably a little bit more desperate as they try the double exploitation attacks where they steal information before encrypting it and then demand uh, money in order to not leak the data as well. So I, I kind of think that like, it's funny because if you're threatening to not give back the data, but then you're also threatening to give the data to the public, then like at a certain point, like you know, if everything goes badly and you follow through on all your threats, you you get your backups back in a roundabout kind of fashion. Um, but you know, um, it's kind of being shown that the average ransomware payment is getting less and less, and increasingly companies are refusing to pay some of the more outrageous demands. So the trend has been amongst ransomware operators to start targeting smaller businesses that are still willing to pay these ransoms, but are still financially healthy. So they've stopped kind of going after the largest businesses, which have now developed a strategy for dealing with this sort of thing and made it less and less profitable for them, and are now instead going after medium-sized businesses that are growing and probably will still pay because it's worth it for them to continue their growth because they're kind of in a more critical stage, but are not as big of targets that have been hit in the past. So going to be interesting to see this. Um, and also interesting to note that so much of this ransomware is now double exploitation, where they're trying to make money really however they can on this access to the data, uh, both by uploading it and trying to extort people by threatening to leak it, and also by just ransomwareing it on the customer system.